Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1. This is Lesson 33. Write your name here. And we're showing subtraction. That's minus. Subtraction is take away. If you want, use a five-group drawing for each problem. So number 1, 9 minus 1. So we're subtra this is all subtraction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. And here's the one I'm crossing out. Subtracting, you may notice that the subtraction symbol, the minus symbol, looks like something you use to cross something out. That's what I'm crossing out. I'm crossing out. I'm crossing out 1. I'm subtracting 1. And then what's left is 8. 5 and 3 more, that's 8. Uh, and now for number 2, we're subtracting 0, which is the easiest number to subtract. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 9. It's all but one finger, if you're using your fingers. And I'm not crossing out. How much am I crossing out? I'm not crossing out anything, so I, just, I still have 9 left. Right? And, you, and you may think of this. Here, in this example here, they shaded some of them in, because if you use the bracelets in class today, some of them are red and some of them are white, right? So the red ones we have shaded in first, so there, there are nine left. All nine are still there, because we didn't cross any out. Number three, six minus something, and we have six left. So let's draw it. One, two, three, four, five. And there's our next there's our next bead in our bracelet. Or a five group and one more makes six. So how many am I going to cross out to have six? Well I have six. So if I cross anything out, if I cross just one out, I'll only have five. I can't cross out anything. So that means I'm crossing out zero. Kind of a tricky one. Maybe you saw it coming. Number four. 6 equals 7 with how many crossed out? We don't know how many are crossed out in this one. But we know what's left, and we know what to start with. Right? Look at this. When you read these, that's the subtraction minus. This is the equals. So you always look at for the operation symbol first. Look for the minus or the plus first, and then that tells you what you start with and what you do. And then it, the equal sign, sometimes it's on the left, sometimes it's on the right. One, two, three, four, five. So we know that we start with seven and then we cross out, I don't know how many yet, five, six, seven. So these are the five red ones. So there's all seven, that's what we start with. And how many do we cross out? So we, have, we want to have six left after we're done crossing out. So if I cross out this one here, how many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. That's six. So I didn't only have to cross out one. Be careful with these because we're used to looking left to right where we see the minus here and the equals over here. But some, it doesn't have to be like that all the time. So be careful. Watch when you're looking at these number sentences. Look for the subtraction or the addition symbol first. And then that will tell you what it is you're going to do. So we have some cases here where that's going to happen. Uh, number five it says right here is the subtraction symbol. It says we start with nine, we cross out how many, and then we're going to have nine left. You may have already figured this out. One, two, maybe you don't have to even draw the picture. Five, I'm going to draw a picture. It doesn't take a lot of time. One, two, three, four, there. So there's 9. I cross out. I can't cross out anything if I'm going to have 9 left. That's how many I have left after I cross out. So this is what I start with. This is how much I crossed out. And that's how many are left after I crossed out. Number 8, we got a similar situation here. Well, but don't forget, this is not, this right here is not a subtraction symbol. It's an equal sign. This is the subtraction symbol. So this says that what we had before we subtract is this. 
So we start with 8, we subtract how many, and then we'll see to have 8. 8 is what we're going to have left when we're done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we start with 8, right? That's what we have before we subtract. 1, 2, 3. And let me just clean this up a little bit with my eraser. So those little arrows are going to be pretty confusing. All right. How many do I cross out? I'm going to have eight left. I can't cross out anything. Zero. Uh, here I have ten. And I'm going to cross out something and have nine left. So before I cross anything out, I'm going to have ten. That's what I'm going to draw. One, two, three, four, four. Two, three, four, five. There's ten. And I'm going to cross out. If I cross out one, we'll have nine. You should know if there's nine left, there's going to be one crossed out. So because that's one of the easiest ones for your parts to ten is nine and one. And then this one says, I'm going to start with seven. I'm going to cross some out and have seven left. So that's subtraction right here. These are all subtraction. But make, make, make sure you're careful about which one is the subtraction symbol and which one is the equal sign. So if I start with 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me finish coloring that guy in. Okay, 7. And I can't cross out anything. So I'm going to have 7 left. But if I cross out even 1, I'd only have 6 left. So I can't do, cross out anything. 0. Now we're writing the subtraction number sentence to match the five group drawing. All right, so here's our subtraction symbol. This tells us how many did we have before we crossed anything out. That's counting everything, even the ones that are crossed out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six we had. How many did we cross out? That's the number that goes here, right? Because it's the subtraction. It looks just like what you would use to here to cross something out. How many were crossed out? One. And then how many were left not crossed out? Five. Uh, for this one, we have how much did we have before we crossed anything out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You might just look at that and see five and two more. That's seven. And there's nothing crossed out. Zero. And so there's still seven. And here's another subtraction sentence. How many do we have before we crossed out? Right, that's the number that goes here. How many did we start with before we subtracted? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine. How many are crossed out? Let me erase my little mark there so you can see. There's one that's crossed out, and that means there's five and three. That's eight left. Eight left. When I said five and three, that's five and three. That makes eight. Number 12. Well, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine all together, right? Um, before we cross anything out, and in this case it's kind of tricky because there's nothing that's crossed out. So we had nine. We didn't cross out anything, and there's still nine. Right, this is subtraction, so it tells us that to look for how many are crossed out, and there aren't any crossed out, so we're subtracting zero. And this is subtraction also. How many do we have before we crossed anything out? They were all, none of them were crossed out in the beginning, so we just count them all: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We started with eight. How many are crossed out? There's one crossed out. How many are not crossed out after that? There's seven left. And then 14, fill in the missing number. So visualize your five groups to help you. And some, some of us will use our fingers. But if we started with seven and there's six left, we must have crossed out one. Uh, if we started with eight and there's seven left, then we must have taken away one. And... I'm going down, you can go across or down. 
Uh, this is a backwards one. Let me come back to that later. I'll do it. I'll do B next. I'll do this one next. And this is a backwards one too. So remember, look for the subtraction or addition symbol first to figure out what to do. Start that first and then look at where the equal sign is. It's not 0 minus 7, which if you looked at this and you saw 0 minus 7, you're like, if I don't have anything, how do I take away 7? But we're not taking away 7. We start with 7 and we take away all 7 and then we'll have 0 left. And okay, so here's our subtraction symbol. So we start with 6. It's how many we have before we subtract. We're crossing out, we're going to have five left, so that means we had to cross out one. And if you if you want to, if you if this is just too hard to do in your head, it says visualize your five groups to help you. Maybe you have the bracelet with you and you can use it. Maybe you're going to use your fingers. Maybe you want to draw a little picture right underneath here. This says that's oh, that's the equals, and this is the minus. So this we're subtracting. These are all subtraction. So if we start, this says we have nine before we subtract. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many do I have to cross out so that there are eight left over? I have to cross out one. And look at F. There's another one that, that's equals. That's not minus. It's 10 minus something. So if I start with 10, how many do I have to cross out to end up with 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's 10. If I cross out 1, I have 9 left. And now this one is one of the easier ones probably. If I start with 10, how many, do I, how many can I cross out and still have 10 left? I can't cross out any and still have 10 left. And then here, if I start with 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, how many can I cross out? Right, there's the minus. How many am I subtracting? How many am I crossing out? I'm going to cross out 1. And I think that'll be 8 left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I cross out 1, I'll have 8 left.